All right. Welcome, Boogs. Welcome. To my new gym. What's he drinking? Oh, it's the maple syrup we gave you. Damn, dude, how much of that have you drunken already? Oh, oh you've only had six, yeah, that's not much. Only 600 calories we in the past yeah. few minutes. <laughs> they want to look around, come on. No, I mean, I, I've seen enough. Yeah? Yeah. This is too nice for my, my blood. Too nice? Yeah, I think this is the problem with today's society. What is this? What is, you need a machine for every body part? To help isolate. No, you think that's gonna help you in the real world? Do you understand that back in the day when the men were men, everyone, everyone aspires, everyone looks back at the black and white pictures and says, oh, this guy, this guy, this, this is an epitome. Do you think he used any of this stuff? I mean, if he had it, he probably would have used it. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? You think no. he would have known better? A caveman would have known better. <laughs> so you think, okay, so you think a caveman wouldn't have been drinking maple syrup if he had it? I think, yeah, caveman, this is from nature. Is it? Oh, you're right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I can't argue with that. You get where I'm going with this? Yeah. I think Is it glass that you need to get... I don't know. I don't think, nobody knows what glass is made of. <laughs> I think that you would benefit tremendously from getting back to nature. Yeah. Getting back to your roots from where our, an our ancestors. I just, <laughs> you know what I mean? I think you're getting so disconnected from the real world with all this heavy machinery. And it's like, so much work, though. I just finished it. You know? Yeah, but I think you need to I just want to use it. All of this. Well, I, okay, oh, wait. I got something. I got something. I get it. The glitz, the glamour. Okay, I got, some, I got something for you. Come on. Hey, this is my barn. It's a hellhole. So come on inside. Right. Yeah, this is probably more up your alley. It's more like the rat's nest. It's more like, you know, your home. Huh. There. Are you kidding me? Hello, you think this is like my home? You think this is symbolic of anything I represent? There's, there's stuff on the floor. There's lots of weight. There's things to pick up. This is definitely some of the fanciest stuff I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't even know what kind of bench. What is that bench over there? It looks like it's cost you $25,000. <laughs> And uh, the one that's hidden. You think that's symbolic of my leg press at home? Yeah. You understand? When I press weight with my legs, it's just she it's just it's a slab of metal that I'm pushing. Yeah. There's no leverage. There are snakes. There's yeah, there's snakes, there's sand. We got birds here and we got bees. We got the birds and the bees at this barn. I do like that, but I don't like I mean this is still a little it's too much, man. But yeah, you're getting ready. Yeah, I know you do a lot of things like doing bodybuilding, like doing competitive events and arm wrestling and whatnot. So we have to think back to the roots, our ancestors. Okay. I say we just go out and use what God's given us. All right. He most certainly didn't give you this equipment. Here, this is pretty close to nature. I don't think God made Atlas rocks stones. that way. That's not the way nature intended those rocks to be. There, right there. What do you think that? Where, those are rocks. That rip rack rock is for my ditch. Perfect. We can use and abuse those rocks. That's what's going to build you man strength, man muscle. You know a man named Brooks Cubic made dinosaur training, coined it. That's using nature to get strong, to get big, to get thick. You got a lot of show muscle on you. But I don't know if you have a lot of go muscle. I think we're going to find out right now. That's what we call popcorn muscle. <laughs> you ever heard that before? No, I've never heard of that. Uh, there you go. All right, let's go. Does it deflate with water? <laughs> over here. We got two piles of rip wrap rock. Am I even saying that right? Rip wrap, rip, rip wrap. Two piles of rocks. Do you want to like do a, you want to pick up the rocks and put them back down? Does that work? I think what we do is we just start, yeah. What would Bill Kazmaier do? I think we just start moving. I think you get in tune with your body. Do you pick up the big ones first or the small ones first? No, I think we're going to build up to it. Build up to it so you can work up from big to small? Oh, we're going to build up to it. Okay. We're, we're going to build up to the picking up the rocks or we're going to build up to the bigger rocks? I'm confused. We're just going to get after it. There's no rhyme, no reason, no method. We're just going to get after it. We're going to go hard. We're going to do it the way that the old, old age, the cavemen would do it. Back in the day, if you were a caveman, what would, would be your number one goal? To throw a rock at a saber-toothed tiger. Well, I was thinking more of kill a man. Oh, really? So, like, what I would do to train is to take this rock and I would envision someone's skull. Right? So 
So I'd say like get after that, do that ten times in a row. Skull. You gotta go, 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 oh. go, go, go. All right, all right. There's a lot of skulls on the ground. Go. Skull. Skull. You have to say skull when you do it. Uh, die. Uh, die. <laughs> die. Oh. 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 There's skulls everywhere. Oh, it's tiring. How many sets of reps do you do? I just move on. Next thing. Yeah? Yeah. Just keep going, go. Oh, okay. Let's say grab the biggest boulder. Yeah? Let's take a couple sprints up the hill. Right? Yeah. Conditioning. Yeah. Because you have to run away from saber tooth tigers. Well, why would you saber be running tooth. from them if you're. Oh, you want to be right here chasing somewhere. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, is that good? There you go. Yeah. There you go. It's all you're looking jacked. Look at that back. That's a damn good job. Is this the right uh, order of operations? No, he's breaking, he's definitely breaking the rules. But I do like where you're going with this. Oh yeah. I do like where you're going with that. Oh yeah. It's an odd object, I'll accept it. Okay. All right, all right. Well, you should keep that in your gym for now. Oh! Good grip. There we go. Come on. Yeah, it's good. This is real world training. Told you. Yeah. You may not always have your eyesight, you might have dust in your eyes. Shit! Still have to perform. Well, cool. Well, now that we're already in here, you wanna you wanna do one of these machines instead of the rock? No. Okay. So we're running up the hill. Damn. You didn't get out of that one. Okay. I got a ton of dirt in my eyes. Oh. All right. Close the door behind you. My iris is destroyed. Fast, come on, fast. Yeah. How's that? That's conditioning, huh? Yeah. That's condition. You got a little of the fancy schmancy equipment up there. You got your little rower, a little aerodyne bike, a little treadmill, a little stair climber. That's that's what's gonna make you mad. You think we could sell these? As you know, it's rock fit, right? You think we make some money off this? Wanna go business? Uh, I'm not into this for the money though. Stay okay. true to it. This is, this is peak fitness. Peak fitness. Here, sell your soul. Ah, a quick yeah. buck. Problem with society, everything's about a quick buck. Why do you think those uh, machines you bought exist? Right. They didn't do that because it's effective. Okay. It's useless. I understand what you're saying. You got to develop it a little bit more mm -hmm. before you put it to market. Okay. Oh, I think explosive. Uh, explosive. You got that rock. You're chasing someone. You smash someone's skull. They're 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 upset. You kill them. They're running away. You're chasing them. Wait. Oh, you smash their skull and they're running away. What no, are we it's fighting a family here? member. It's a family member. Oh. You're gonna catch him now. So the family member, why would we be smashing family member's skull under <laughs> the rock? Uh, grab a lighter rock. <laughs> okay, here, how about this one? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's see, uh, you got some good jumps, right? Uh, yeah, they're not too bad, is yeah. That is this, uh, this looks like a proper surface to jump on, is it? Is it? Wow. What's a little wobbly. You throw projectiles at your enemies from above? <laughs> it's good shoulder mobility. This is why they built- A lot of people are spending a lot of money on these maces and things of that sort. Yeah. All you need is just a good rock. Yeah, just open some yourself rocks. up. We're gonna do some rock throws for distance. Yeah. All right. I like that idea. You know, now you're using your using your brains. Like this one? Oh, yeah. Do yeah, okay, okay. yeah, like how this thing? Okay, okay. How do you do this? Put it next to your ear. You're Harvard. Primal instincts. I gotta go stand by it. Where did it fall? You gotta turn everything into a competition, otherwise there's no point in doing it. 
tuning back into your your dumb ancestors. Yeah. All right. Look at this form. Ah! Wait, I think we tied. What? How could you see? You got a bunch of dirt in your eye down there doing <laughs> rock pullovers on my bench. Uh, I think we tied. Right. I didn't have to give that to you. I could have said that it was a little bit less, but. Less? Yeah. Where'd you throw it from? Oh. Hey, Sam, how much do you think we can sell these rocks for if we brand them as Rock Fit? Uh, John, we might have to stay true to, to the Rock Fit motto. Uh, <laughs> you know what Rock Up is? Turns you up with the rock. Oh crap, I was thinking more like a rock push-up, but I guess we could do the hard one. Tur <laughs> turkey skin. Tur remember, this was invented before turkey existed. Yeah. And I mean the bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's no such thing as a Turkish rock up. That's just right here. All right, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot how to do this. Hold on. I'm gonna figure it out. Okay, post. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Post with this like there, that's it. Mm -hmm. and then get up. Does anyone actually do this exercise anymore? Okay, me neither. No, it was strictly a meme invented oh. in the early 2000s to sell kettlebells. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you have three of them? Yes. <laughs> At one point, I was. Oh God. I was, I was driven to prove something that maybe I could be the first in the world to ever do a Turkish getup with a 203 pound kettlebell. Uh -huh. And then I became wiser and realized that no one cares. <laughs> you want to go back before even rocks were invented? Yeah. All right, so I guess we could just go over that tree over there, right? Trees existed before rocks. We, we can get here. Let's go. How do we come down here? Trees and let's exist get to that tree. Before. I don't even know where we're going down here. You want to run? <laughs> Are those pumps? Yeah, let's move on pumps. Where'd you get those? eBay? <laughs> yeah. Is that the only acceptable uh, rock fit shoes? Well, listen, I'm not saying that our ancestors were perfect, but. Some things they got right, some things they just totally messed on. Like barefoot, what's the point? Everything else, sure. Prisoner workout, so this is a prisoner frog hops. Oh, crap. Yeah, what do you think? I don't like the sound of frog hop. Yeah. Let's do some wrestling practice. Brutal. Did you do it upstairs? So for a week. How do you do this upstairs? Oh. Upstairs? Yeah. This is. Uh, it's hard on gravel, dude. Yeah. And the cast. And the cast. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. I got another tree. Oh my god, dude. You're wrapped up. <gasps> yes. Frogs don't quit. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> Technical difficulties. It was awesome. Oh, man. Oh, oh. 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 My legs just failed. Oh. That was hard. It's even harder for Sam to film it. <laughs> the gimbal screwing up. Hey, look, there's more rocks. Oh. Yeah. You're smooth. Yeah, I need some syrup. Oh, my God. That's the hardest thing to The gimbal. Ten years. <laughs> Should we do it again? You know what I said? Yeah, of course. <laughs> we can pick a different animal. Uh, there's duck walks. Oh. <laughs> What's worse, a, uh, a frog hop or a duck walk? I don't know. It's, they're both equally as bad, yeah. Yeah, badass. I don't know, this might be why frogs have such good results. Look how high they can jump. <laughs> That's true. Oh, you know, they're doing frog hops all day. Maybe there's something to it. You know, I've thought about that before. Animal philosophy. Yeah. So I've been mean, cat food in the past. <laughs> oh, dry or, or oh. wet? Uh, well, so I bought the. <laughs> kind of matters, actually. I went to the uh, the pet store. Yeah. And I asked the guy, so what's the the best premium cat food you have? And he says, this is blue buffalo. So I tried eating it like trail mix at first. Okay, wait. Carry... So you did have dry cat food. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna carry it around campus. This is in college. Yeah eat it in, during class and stuff. Wait, really? <laughs> That's very anabolic. Salmon, sweet potato, blueberry, spinach, right? Yeah. So I figured there's probably not a better 
you know, nutrient dense power pack snack and cat food. And it was so dry. Like you need carnivorous sharp teeth yeah. to eat the stuff. So I figured, listen, I have to moist it, moisten it. So I took a, a pack of lentils, like the kind that you microwave in the pouch. Uh -huh. So I microwaved the lentils, dumped it on the cat food. Still disgusting. I sprinkled cheese on it. Uh, melted the Where cheese. Where is this going? What type of cheese? It was shredded, just a shredded like mozzarella, cheddar mix. It's disgusting. So I put sour cream on top. <laughs> Try to make it a taco dish. So then I figured I'd let it soak overnight so that the cat food would become mush <laughs> with the toppings. Mexican, you, 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 Mexican food toppings. So it's like a Mexican what? protein shake? Yeah, well, and then I tried eating it with tortilla chips. And it what? just would it just wouldn't wouldn't be pal. Did you pal get the, the palatable restaurant style or the scoops? Uh, the tortilla chips? Yeah. Restaurant style. Okay. Okay. Uh, something to the story for all the viewers out there, they're fans of the boogs. Uh, you notice something about the story is he didn't give up. Yeah. <laughs> he he kept trying to make dry cat food work somehow <laughs> in his world of things. Let's do duck walks to your maple syrup. Come on. Okay. Ready? Yeah, so I'll tell you the liver smoothie story after. All right. right. So get there. All right. Oh, let, dude, this is so easy. This is it, right? We got to put your hands up. That's this a duck so walk? Isn't it? What are you thinking? I was thinking this. Oh. What? Ducks don't walk. I'm going to walk like this. Huh? This is not a duck walk. I was told it was this. This is a bad girl Insta glute workout. <laughs> Work. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Can you, you do that thing? again? Both you of you at really the same time? Spread your glutes. Yeah, you're you're not spreading your glutes, yeah, you John. Bad girl in sport, though. You gotta put some glute bands on around your ankles. There's so much glute in this frame. <laughs> this is real. Yeah, we do this all day. Yeah, yeah. So pretty hard, dude. Not nearly as hard as those frogs. I'm gonna have like insane quad and ham separation by the time I leave here. Have you thought about? Not using those fancy machines and only doing this for a month and seeing what happens? Well, I don't know. You want to go down there and try the machines next and compare? <laughs> I already know the answer. Yeah. The answer is going to be the don't, don't compare. Crap. It's going to be like this. Yeah. Versus the, oh my god, dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So another, we're on that same time frame, eating the cat food. I was trying to... I was trying to look, you know, I'm trying, trying to look for that silver bullet, you know? Silver bullet to yeah? take you that next step. Well, the liver was so cheap. Liver. Right, yeah. Like chicken liver or beef liver? Chicken liver. Okay. I mean, it, it's disgusting. Yeah. Absolutely disgusting. It's the texture. So I put it in the blender to blind it. So I'm like, well, it's like, it tastes like a mud anyways. I just might as well make it a- Mud? A beverage. Oh, like a pate? Okay. Yeah, oh well, no, like a beverage. Yeah. It's disgusting, it didn't help. So then I was like, well, you know what? This flavor, I can see this being good with like a V8 tomato juice. Yeah. So I mixed that in with the blend of liver. Oh God. It was disgusting. Oh God. It was really hard to put down. Oh God. Like it made it worse. Well, it's so gross. I might as well put a couple of scoops of protein powder in instead. Yeah. I don't know why. But oh no, I no, might, I know. What flavor was it? Might, it was chocolate. <laughs> no, it didn't work out, did it? <laughs> no, really no this, is the, this is the, the, the sunk cost policy here. So, you just kept throwing more expenses into the smoothie and then you just realized nothing was working. So then, did you try cinnamon? No, but what I did try, I said, okay, you know what? What's the strongest flavor is black coffee. Oh, that's stronger, so okay. Dumped a pot of coffee in. A whole pot? Yeah, was so it really drowned it out. I was in too deep, it was like the cat food yeah. recipe. I was in too deep at that point where I was like, okay, I just wasted resources to make this. Yeah. I have to down it. I mean, so, you're, you're a college student, right? You like yeah, so much. Yeah, so I dug deep, right? And man, by the time I drank that, I was wired, dude. Because I had a pot of coffee in me. It's just so many nutrients flooding my system. Yeah. But that pot of coffee really did the trick. Okay. So like, and it's super energy shake. Yeah. Never did it again though. Why? Because it was disgusting. It was, like, <laughs> it was, it was the grossest too, thing I've ever had. Too hard tasted. for you, huh? This is just the grossest okay. thing. I was able to do it. I'll never say it's too hard, but this is the grossest thing I've ever had. Actually, this is interesting. We should take you to a grocery store and have you uh, do some shopping. Well, this is when I was trying to bulk. Before that, yeah. when I was cutting weight, I did, uh, I bought beans, because they were like a dollar a can. Yeah. And bread. And I would, uh. Beans and bread. 
I put the, or just put, dump the beans on the bread. That bean sandwiches. <laughs> that was lean, dude. That's, that sounds, this that's sounds lean. actually pretty tasty. No, Did well, you put ketchup on it too? No, no, no. It was just bean. Oh, okay. Bean bread. Bean, bean bread. Because they had the bean juice soak the, the bread in. We'll, we'll go to the grocery test. store in the next video and then we'll see. Uh, let's do that after this. But we got, we got to finish this workout off here. We did frock hops, duck walks, uh, rock ups, rock pullovers, rock throws, rock. Rock this, rock that. If you had to write this in a training log, it would look really interesting. I'll tell you what, it's gonna give people better results than what they're doing yeah. at their Planet Fitness. Yeah. Using their machines that are forcing them into a moving pattern that uh, their primordial species didn't want them to move in. So you're saying everything down there in the other gym is trash? Yeah, that's pretty much what Have you seen the people that go to normal gyms? Can't argue with that logic. <laughs> I mean. You once told me a story that you walked into Planet Fitness and they said, sir, we don't welcome you, you can't be here. Yeah, that was, that was my Planet Fitness. So you're too experience. jacked, you're too stacked, you're too juicy. No yeah, gallons. But, you know, but the argued devil's advocate, when was the last caveman you saw? They're extinct. Obviously, this wasn't working for them if they're all dead. That's not, they can't live forever with this workout. Well, Dude, well, they, why would you? What was the saying? They were living like lions for what 20 years or whatever as opposed to sheep for 60 years. They're living like kings. I, we'll stick with an element then, all right? If, if this is such good results from natural elements, we got a sand pit over here. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, That's like little, little teeny weeny rocks. Yeah. Yeah, sand is just rocks that have been beaten up so much that they're small now, right? I don't know. I don't okay. think anyone knows what sand is. <laughs> it's a natural element, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, it kind of answers your riddle. What is glass made out of, maybe? Is it made out of sand? I googled it. Is it made out of sand? I think so, yeah. Are you going to kneel? Yeah, don't worry, you're not going to put your face in the sand. Okay. I refuse, dude, I, didn't, I kneel to no one, man. Well, you would kneel if you were about to pummel someone's face. Oh, you got a lot of sand in your eyes from that rock. Yeah, I got a lot of sand, yeah. Probably All right, destroyed so you might want to close your eyes as you're pummeling your... Oh, okay. So this is the exercise. Sand pummel. Sand? That's actually probably pretty good. Jeez, dude, this is like... <laughs> Look how deep that is already. Oh, that was a pretty good tactic. You were trying to dig, punch yeah, one face. That's more efficient. Punch, I was punching two faces. Yeah, I went through that guy's skull. Let's do a sprint up this hill. How does that sound? Okay. That'd be good. Yeah, you want to sprint to the grocery yeah, store? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah, let's yeah. do that. So we go start at the bottom of the hill, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, because cavemen obviously made things harder on themselves to get a better workout. Well, I was, he was just saying that you can hunt a pterodactyl. Yeah. See, every time I picture a caveman and dinosaur, I just think of like Brontosaurus or T-Rex, land-based animal. I think, well, yeah, they're probably on the perch and as soon as it lands. Yeah. Three, two, one. 